Coming up in this video, I share with you my recipe for amazing green vegetable juices. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimnius here from thethoughtgym.com, helping you become the superhuman leader I know that you can be. Giving you everything that you need to help you think, feel and be super. And you'll probably notice if you're a regular viewer that I'm not in my usual place today and that's because I'm in my kitchen. And I'm going to share with you this week exactly what goes into my daily juice that uh, helps make me feel amazing, super, gives me amazing energy, vitality all day long. Let's not waste any more time and let's get cracking. All right guys, here we are in front of my juicer. Uh, this is a cold pressed juicer, which I only bought about six months ago. Uh, for the first four years of my juicing, I was just using a centrifugal one. If you want just a quick summary on that, really there are different types of juicers. Centrifugal tends to be a bit quicker, um, maybe a little bit noisier. They tend to not extract as much of the nutrients. They tend to separate a little bit faster. They don't keep as long. So there's different reasons why you might want a cold press juicer. They tend to be more expensive, that's the challenge. My recommendation, starting out, just get a juicer that is easy to clean and that you're gonna use. Um, like I said, I was on centrifugal for four years. There's nothing really wrong with it, but I did want to step up. Uh, I wanted to keep some juices a bit longer for juice fasts. Um, it's slightly better yield, uh, so you get more bang for your buck in terms of the vegetables. But this is a cold pressed juicer, and uh, you just turn it on. You see, it's not too noisy. This is a Cummins one. It's got a whole uh, big chute that you can shove lots of stuff in. However, I chop everything anyway, so it made no real difference to me. But anyway, let's get started, um, and I'll just pop it in. Uh, hopefully you talk. So we have some ginger going in. Um, we've got all the veg here. You can hopefully see that. Um, it's a mixture of leafy greens and normal vegetables. Um, I like ginger. It's very uh, anti-inflammatory, uh, antibacterial, reduces muscle soreness. We have spinach that goes in there. And I'll put the spinach, I'll put the leafy greens in with, um, with some of the other more uh, tougher veg like the cucumbers and the peppers, we've got tomato, uh, so spinach uh, we talked about excellent source of, of vitamins and minerals from vitamin A and C and folic acid and K and um, we've got a bunch of stuff that goes in there, um, some more pepper going in there, tomatoes great for lycopene which is for heart disease and cancer and sunburn and big antioxidants. Um, that we've got in there. We've already started putting in some peppers, again rich in nutrients, antioxidants, great source of iron. We put in some broccoli in there as well. Where's the broccoli? Here's the broccoli. Put some, put some broccoli in there. Uh, again, high in vitamin C. Just great uh, antioxidants, iron, potassium, everything else that you need. Uh, we've got some celery. Celery's going in there. AIDS digestion, uh, really good um, for reducing bad cholesterol as well. It improves your liver, skin, eyes, everything really. Uh, we've got a mixture of leaves here, including uh, cilantro or coriander in the UK. Uh, great for anxiety, improving your sleep. Um, what else? Uh, also, a healthy menstrual cycle, um, a great antioxidant as well. We've got some courgette that is going in there, some courgette. So we'll throw some courgette pieces in there as well. Yeah, that goes in there. Again, anti-inflammatory, high in potassium, helps maintain healthy eyes. Um, you see, I don't need to shove anything down either. Like centrifugal ones, you have to shove down. This one, you don't really have to shove down anything, which is great. Um, it just pulls things in really well. Um, cucumbers, very, very detoxified for the body. Uh, cancer fighting properties, alkalizing, vitamin K2 which is great for, for bone health. Uh, we've got some kale, kale goes in there as well, we'll shove that in there. Uh, all hail the kale as they say, anti-inflammatory, heart support, detoxification, healthy vision, cancer prevention. Lemon, super important in any juice in my opinion because first and foremost it makes it taste amazing. Without it, you're going to really struggle. I take the peel off, uh, the peel otherwise doesn't taste so great. Um, great vitamin C, boosts energy, mood, but the most important reason, in my opinion, is purely for the taste reasons. Uh, when I've got it, I shove some mint in there as well. I quite like mint, give it a nice fresh taste. 
Good for nausea, headaches, asthma, alertness, cognition, uh, retention of information, depression. Good for all round kind of things. Uh, I put some mixed salad leaves in there as well. Uh, leafy greens you always want, rich in minerals. Uh, helps you keep young, you know? Lowers cholesterol, uh, including things like parsley we've got in there. Three times the vitamin C of oranges in parsley, in fact. One of the highest ORAC ratings on the planet, um, which is uh, the ability for your body to uh, fight free radicals, those dangerous little annoying things that destroy your cells. Um, so we shove all of that in there. Like I say, we've got quite a lot going on in there. It was around, probably about 600 grams of, 600 grams there of, uh, of vegetables. So 400 grams, let just turn that down. For Let's just uh, let this come out. Oh, let this come out here. You can see, hopefully, that green juice pouring out there. Turn it off for a second. So 600 grams, um, 400 grams of vegetables is effectively five portions of vegetables. So what we've done here is we've taken about, well, seven or so portions of veg and we've extracted the, the water. Yeah, so in here, you can see, that is all the fiber, effectively. That's all the pulp. And, uh, and what we've got here, instead, is the juice. So it makes about 400 ml. I put an ice cube in there as well because it makes it taste nicer. Um, oh, lovely. Um, so I put an ice cube in there. That will cool it down over, over time. I like to give it a little bit of a stir, but what we've got here, we've got just the juice. Um, a lot of the nutrients, most of the nutrients of these uh, these vegetables and these fruits is trapped in the waters there. So we've got like the super vitamin water going on here. And uh, what I like about this compared to smoothies, everyone's like, oh, smoothies versus juices. But it's not really about smoothies versus juices. It's smoothies and juices, in my opinion. Um, I tend to have the juice first uh, on an empty stomach. Uh, the nutrients get into your bloodstream straight away, avoids the digestive part. Within 15 minutes, it's like having like a Red Bull in a way, but with none of the downsides at all. Um, so we put that in there. One little thing that I do add to my smoothie, uh, to my juices now, is this thing. Uh, this is um, basically grapefruit seed extract. Uh, someone um, told me once that they never used to get colds when they used to drop this in, and so I drop about 12 drops of this in because it's quite, quite strong as a taste when you have it just with water. But when you have it in your juice, I think that's about 12 drops. Um, when you have it with your juice, you don't taste it at all. So I just mix that in, and you can't taste it. And um, mmm, that's amazing, especially with the, the mint in there today, and the parsley and everything else. Um, but it starts to cool with the ice cube. Um, you can see it's in a in a Coca-Cola cup here. This is back in the day when I bought a Coca-Cola bottle which was made into a glass and the only thing that gets drunk in these things these days other than water tends to be juice. Um, choose happiness as they say uh, which means you don't want to choose coke um, but choose your green vegetable juices always better than store-bought ones which are usually super high in fruit, uh, very little vegetables, lots and lots of sugar. This sure it'll have a little bit of sugar because uh, even like the lowest sugary vegetables has got some sugar in it, but it's not really that much um, by comparison, and um, and it's full of the good stuff as well. So uh, I recommend making one of these uh, when you can. If you can't make one every day, maybe just on the weekends and maybe once during the week to start with. Uh, but get these green juices into your system as much as is uh, as humanly possible for you. And I'm just going to enjoy this juice now. I mean, it's. Um, so tasty. You uh, you really don't understand until you uh, you experiment. I would say I put lots of different vegetables into this. Um, most people won't. They'll pick two types of veg, uh, maybe a bit of lemon, uh, maybe a bit of ginger, um, and that's fine. Do that. Um, I just find it easier to rather than buy 15 cucumbers for the week for my juice or whatever it might be. I just buy a normal spread of veg. Um, I get the different nutrients from each. 
each vegetable. They've all got slightly different uh, profiles. Some people, their digestive system, whatever it else might be, uh, they don't want to complicate things by having too much, and that's fine. It's actually quicker if you just stick to one or two bits, like just cucumber, celery, lemon ginger. It'll be a lot easier to uh, wash the veg um, and everything else. So I would, uh, I would soak the veg first and then rinse it out. Uh, to get off any, any residual things, try and buy organic where you can, um, but just start with something. Uh, like I said, the most key ingredient for me usually is lemon when it comes to green juices, uh, and then add whatever else you want, leafy greens and normal greens as well. Uh, and then a little bit of colour in there as well. Alright guys, uh, that is it, that is how I make my superhuman green veg juice in the morning, each and every day. Have done for now the last uh, four and a half years. Uh, I've got to say, I find it amazing. Stick to a juice, a smoothie, both if you can, and you will start to feel superhuman. If you've not checked out my video on how to uh, make a superhuman smoothie, do check that out. Um, if you want to uh, grab some information on that, there's uh, details on this page or in this video somewhere for you uh, to be able to do that. Until then, I do encourage you to start juicing as often as you can, even if it's just once a week to begin with, just get an idea for it. You will start to feel amazing. Please do remember, subscribe to this channel for more content which is going to help you feel superhuman. We're all about creating the best version of yourself here and part of that naturally is with superhuman juices and smoothies. Please do remember to share the content and, uh, and do what you can this week to think, feel and be superhuman. Take care, bye bye.